during the learning process, right, um, my father is very, very strict. He will go to me and he will scold me. He will say, close your shop. If you cannot do this, if you cannot do that, just close your shop. He will stop me from doing the things. Uh. Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm 33 this year and I'm the founder of 9S Seafood. My grandfather actually started 60 years ago, then at the roadside of Chinatown. Okay, after that, my father actually took over and um, he actually made a name for himself. Lah. Then when I was a kid, I would actually stand by the side and watch the way he sell fish. I can see that he can sell a lot of fish, lah, up to a few thousand kilos of fish every day. That's how I sort of uh, want to go into this business. The job is actually very tiring, it's very dirty and it's of course very smelly. Then the first day I just, I don't know what to do. Then I just anyhow sell, then the end of the day I count my profit, wow, I'm, I'm making a loss. Because when, when we try to um, compete against the uncles, the aunties, right, and we don't make any profit, I'm going to suffer for the whole week. We do not have one hour to eat, we have to actually stand up and eat while serving the customer. Then I cannot fall sick, even if I fall sick, right, I have to go down and work because if I don't earn money on Saturday and Sunday, for the rest of the week, I'll be like just covering rental only. So I've tried having a high fever and I'll still be chopping the fish. During the learning process, right, um, my father is very, very strict. He will go to me and he will scold me. He will say, close your shop. If you cannot do this, if you cannot do that, just close your shop. When I purchase the fish and uh, my father just take a look, Wow, he said, wow, boy, uh, this fish cannot. Uh. He want me to throw the whole fish to the dustbin. And it cost me like one, two hundred dollars and I feel quite pain uh, over it. When he cooled down, he'll start teaching me, he'll try to explain to me why you need to do this, why you need to do that. So uh, I think without my father's guidance, right, I will, not, I will not be what I have today. Uh. I will not expand the business to what I have. So he actually plays a very important part in my role. I decided to bring this business online. So I convinced some of my friends to actually join me. I know that my friends are actually capable of those things that are not very strong in, uh, maybe in the IT, marketing, online. During CNY period, my friends will actually come down to the stores to help me sell fish. So they actually experienced years of selling fish already. Then uh, some of my friends is actually uh, from the national team, it's, they are the head coach. And I managed to convince them to actually slow down their own work and concentrate on this business. At first, we, we don't know how the market actually will react to this um, transformation. Uh. Then um, we, we try by taking some pictures and we post onto Facebook. We try to create a website and well, we realized that the first week we only got one order, two orders. Second week, uh, three orders. After a few months, right, we realized that we got 100 orders and that's the part that I feel that the market is actually accepting um, this online business. You have to be honest, you have to be sincere to your customer. You try to give them 100% uh, when you are dealing with them. So I believe that through this sincerity, right, um, they will actually come back to you. So sincerity and honesty, I think, is the most important thing in doing a business. I prefer to actually give my workers the chance to actually sell fish. Then they can decide the price they want to sell they can decide whether I want to lose money or not. So my workers can be the one deciding whether what they want to do. I will not be in the store. So at the end of the day, they will send me the sales profit all this. Then I will see oh, whether uh, what is lack, then I will try to teach them. But from, from the start, I, uh, I managed to train a group of workers that is better than me now. In terms of selling, in terms of cutting, all of them are better than me. So this way I feel that um, I don't have to run the business by myself.